All right, uh, with this uh, forecast video update on this uh, Friday, November 30th, the evening edition, I'm Josh Brown. And uh, I, first of all, I want to say that I apologize for not, uh, you know, having this uh, forecast video update as usual, like on my normal time in the evenings, like around eight o'clock, because I had uh, some evening plans with my parents and, and a friend of mine. So again, I apologize for that. And I, of course, I understand it's getting pretty late. But for those of you, for those of you that are just popping on in live right now here to this, to this uh, Facebook uh, feed, I uh, just want to say thank you uh, for uh, t t tuning in uh, to, the, to this uh, video uh, this late. But, uh, but again, I so again, I'm really sorry, uh, you know, for uh, for <clears throat> doing this uh, pretty late here, because like I said, around eight o'clock, uh, well, especially around the eight o'clock hour this evening, like I said, I had plans around the Nashville area. So, uh, but uh, here I am now. So anyway, well, it's been quite of a uh, pretty much almost like a gloom, uh, almost a gloomy day across the midst day here. We had a few rain showers pretty much during the day today. Uh, highs were only in the, uh, I believe, temperatures were like in the 60s. Yeah, it, it was in the 60s pretty much uh, during the day today. So it was pretty much warm and mild. But uh, as we got into the evening hours here, like about seven or nine o'clock is when we started to see some scattered showers moving in into the middle Tennessee and southern Kentucky area. As you notice here on the live bearing threat net radar, and as you can see, yes, there are still scattered showers right now here across portions of our viewing area here on this uh, late evening uh, on this uh, Friday. And that's going to continue uh, to pick up here as we get into the overnight and even into portions of the day tomorrow. And there's also there's a potential there's a potential there's a potential we can potential we can see well as we head into the day tomorrow as well which i'll talk more about more about that here in just a, in just a second but uh, let's go let's take a look here and see who's seen some rain right now here across the midstay here we'll see middle over here towards the western corner of middle tennessee right now here especially for places like around uh clarksville uh ashland city and also for dixon uh, also, northern Humphreys, eastern Houston, and Stewart County here. Again, you're seeing some heavier showers, or not really heavier showers, but just some scattered light rain showers at the moment here. But I'm going to go ahead and play this, uh, the loop here of those uh, rain showers here for over the last few hours. And as you can see, that uh, you can see those rain showers are pretty much coming in from the southwest, moving due to the northeast uh, uh, right now. So, uh, so again, uh, if you're in the uh, Clarksville area, and if you live in Dixon or Charlotte or Ashland City, again, you're seeing some rain right now. But also, if you live in the Springfield area or maybe for places like around Hendersonville or maybe around Gallatin, uh, you, there's possibly you may see some showers, uh, you know, here in the next uh, half hour or so. So just please uh, note that. And uh, also, we'll go ahead, go ahead and zoom out right now and show you uh, what's happening right now here in the Nashville metro area because there are just a few isolated uh, showers at the moment. So not a, it's not a, like I said, it's not really... Heavy or widespread, like I said, there's just a few. Some I, there are just some isolated hit or miss showers right now. But of course, see maybe a couple of sprinkles here just around the downtown area. But we're also seeing some showers right here over and down to around places like around Antioch and also around. Uh, uh, let, let's just, we'll say just south of the uh, Nashville International Airport. We're seeing just a few showers right now, and we're also seeing a couple of isolated showers here just to the north side of downtown Nashville for places like uh, uh, North Nashville. Uh, Madison, again, you're seeing some showers right now. And also the, Cro the Cockrell Bend area, you're seeing a few isolated showers on this uh, late uh, Friday night as well. So, again, if you're out about right now here on this, uh, like pretty late on this Friday night, again, you may want to have the poncho handy because, again, scattered showers are going to continue uh, pretty much through the overnight hours. But the rain's going to pick up pretty heavy also during the overnight into portions of the day tomorrow. So, and I really understand that most people got Christmas parades uh, going on here for. Uh, tomorrow, including the, uh, the downtown Nashville Christmas parade, which, which begins at 8:30. So, if you're heading to the uh, if you're heading to the parade in the morning, uh, you may want to take the poncho. Yeah, so the same thing because because you want to I guess uh, uh, because there will be most part relatively wet in the forecast here for tomorrow. So again, just be aware of that. So it looks like it'll be a little bit uh, soggy and wet for the uh, uh, like I said for the Christmas parade uh, in the morning. So just please be aware that you need to uh, have the poncho handy. And again, we'll go ahead and take a look here on FutureCast here and show you the timing. Well, first of all, before I go out to FutureCast here, we're going to turn off the radar and show you the severe weather risk for tomorrow. Because, yes, there could be a few strong to isolated severe storms uh, for the day on your uh, Saturday. So, uh, so, like I said, as you can see in the dark green areas here across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky, that is a marginal uh, risk of isolated strong to severe thunderstorms uh, for uh, tomorrow. And uh, as of right now, it may, may it may not be until about mid to late morning into the early afternoon we'll see some isolated severe storms uh, roll into the metro area and across portions of our viewing area. But uh, again, don't expect I don't expect like a widespread severe weather outbreak or anything. So the main concerns with these uh, 
uh, thunderstorm series that's sensed to be turning strong and potentially isolated severe will be damaging a uh, straight line wind gusts here, potentially around 60 to 65 miles per hour. And there could be some small hail as well. And also we'll see some lightning and some localized uh, uh, minor flooding as well. So just please be, please be aware of that. So, so again, you may want to be on weather alert uh, mode here for uh, tomorrow as these uh, severe storms do make its way towards middle Tennessee. But again, don't expect, like, don't expect a widespread severe weather outbreak. So just don't freak out. So nothing to worry about. But again, there could be, a, there could be just a few isolated dam uh, damaging wind gusts around 60 to 65 miles per hour. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look, take a look at future casts here. And uh, give, me just, give me just a second here, folks. All right, so sorry about that. I was checking my phone to see who was uh, texting me. So anyway, here's future cast. And again, I just want to show uh, some uh, heavier rain showers uh, right now entering the metro area as of uh, this 11 o'clock hour. Let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> again for the timing here on future cast as we head into the morning hours here. here. So here's 4 a.m. We're expecting more heavy rain to move into the middle Tennessee area here. So if you're going to be up here early in the morning, like maybe trying to get ready for the Christmas parade uh, for Nashville, Again, it'll be over at downtown in the morning, uh, especially if you're leaving early that morning. Uh, you, you, you definitely need to have the umbrella handy because, again, there'll be some areas of showers and a few thunderstorms uh, possible as we head into the morning. And as we head into 7 a.m., it looks like we'll see some storms around the Nashville area continuing. And also, I just want to show on future, on future casts here, maybe a little bit of some heavy rain here across uh, southern portions of Sumner into northwestern Wilson counties. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, like I said, some of these storms could turn strong to isolated severe. So just be aware of that. And there could be maybe a few more storms trying to develop, redevelop here as we head into the, the 11 o'clock hour late tomorrow morning, especially along the I-65 corridor. And it looks like the storm should be pushing off towards the plateau as we head into uh, 2 in the afternoon. So I guess be, just be aware that there'll be a few strong to isolated severe storms as we head into the day on your Saturday as we kick off the month of uh, December. But it looks like the rain should be moving out of here by tomorrow night, except it could be a few isolated leftover showers here along the plateau about 9 o'clock uh, tomorrow night. But I think Middle Tennessee's weather should be looking pretty good for the most part. So if you got, if you got outdoor plans by the late afternoon into tomorrow night, uh, you should be free to go. And we're talking some very warm temperatures, though. We're talking highs only in the upper 60s to around 70 uh, as we head into the day on your uh, Saturday. So, so please enjoy this, uh, you know, this nice, beautiful weather here, at least for the weekend after this uh, uh, band of rain just move out across the mid-state. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, future casts, or not future casts, uh, the uh, GFS models here for the next 16 days. So just give me just a second here. And again, with those viewers just popping on in right now, again, here's a live look at the radar. Once again, for those of you, again, this is for those of you that are just popping on into the live stream right now. Again, there's, again, like I said, it's mainly just along in North of I-40, we're seeing a good chance for some scattered showers at the moment. So, uh, uh, but uh, if you live in South of Nashville, it looks like, uh, again, uh, what, what looks like the weather is pretty much mostly dry, except there are just a few showers here down towards uh, Lewisburg and Shelbyville and down towards Lynchburg and Moore County. But again, the scattered showers are mostly just to the lo along and north of the I-40 uh, corridor, again, for the most part. And also for those of you who are just popping on in right now, uh, please don't forget to uh, share this uh, live video feed as well to your uh, other Facebook uh, followers, because I bet they will love to know the weather here for the weekend into next week, which I'm going to talk about next week's forecast here in just a second on the GFS models. So again, I would really appreciate if you uh, share them, <coughs> the, uh, their live stream. Uh, to them. So, give me just a second here. All right, as we head into, uh, let's get right, let's go right into Sunday's forecast here, because I already went, already went over tomorrow's forecast here. So here's uh, the forecast for Sunday on the GFS. Again, just want to show, um, again, much of the rain should be moving out of here as we head into Sunday. We should be able to see some sunshine. I know you see some showers. This is what it shows on the GFS on, you know, for your Sunday, but I think that's going to be moving off towards the east. So again, we should be mostly dry on Sunday. So if you head into the Titans game, on, uh, you know, that day as they, as they uh, take on the New York uh, Jets, uh, we'll, be, we'll see plenty of sunshine. Uh, of course, the kickoff begins at 3.30 is Sunday afternoon. Again, we'll see high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, and some spots could float around 70 uh, for Sunday, like we'll be seeing uh, tomorrow. 
All right, and as we head into uh, Monday, here's the 12C model to run here from, this is actually early Monday morning of, uh, you know, of next week, the 3rd of December. It looks like Middle Tennessee's weather should be looking pretty dry, at least as of right now. It could be maybe an isolated shower or two, but here's some morning lows for early Monday morning. We're talking uh, lows here going down into the upper 30s to around 40s, so not really extremely as cold, but there's going to be another strong front moving through as we head into next week. That's going to bring some more winter-like temperatures so again, if you like, if you want the 60s and even the 70 degree weather here for this weekend, well, that's the only weekend we'll see that. So again, just enjoy before this uh, winter-like uh, weather does return as we head into uh, uh, next week. Yeah, all right, here's a Tuesday of next week. Just want to show on the GFS maybe a few isolated showers as this uh, system moves some, uh, moves in from the northwest, pushing towards the southeast, and that's going to be that's going to be that uh, strong front we'll be tracking. Going to be a, a very it'll be a very strong cold strong cold front, and that's going to drop our temperatures into the upper 30s in some spots here, with other areas here into the low 40s. So, so you're definitely going to have to have those uh, coats bundled up, uh, pretty handy as as you uh, you know as we head into the day on Tuesday. All right, and as we hand it to Wednesday of next week, it looks like we'll see maybe an isolated uh, uh, snow flurry or two in some spots here, but don't expect any major uh, precipitation in the forecast for next Wednesday for the most part. But if we look at the uh, high temperatures here, it looks like we'll see temperatures still remaining very cold here. We're talking upper 30s into the low 40s as we head into your Wednesday. So again, please be prepared for this uh, second round of this, well, another round of this uh, cold weather as we head into uh, next week to start the month of December. All right, here's Thursday of next week. Uh, same thing, Middle Tennessee's weather looks to, looks to be staying dry for the most part. So, again, more sunshine is in the forecast. Uh, if we look at the uh, high temperatures, once again, it looks like we'll see temperatures starting to warm up just a little bit, but still staying pretty chilly. We're talking highs only in the 40s uh, for the most part as we head into next Thursday. And it uh, looks like there could be, could be another front moving in as we head into late next week. That we potentially could bring our next uh, weather maker so as we look at the uh, other uh, – uh, models. Or actually, look at the, uh, the the following days here on the GFS. It shows what it has to say here in just a, in just a second. But uh, again, just want to show, especially on the GFS, just want to show maybe a little bit of some snow here across portions of the Upper Midwest region as well. So, uh, but again, Middle Tennessee's weather looks to be pretty dry for next Thursday. All right, here's Friday of next week. This is a week from today. This, it looks like a system will be developing across the southwest. That's going to bring our next chance for some unsettled weather to return here for the mid-stay here. Again, this is what I was talking about. Again, this is for next Friday. And if we look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below that, looks like we'll see temperatures uh, still staying pretty chilly. We're talking highs only in the low 40s as we head into the day on Friday of next week. Let's look at the precipitation type values here. Yes, I just want to show, goodness gracious, we're talking maybe a p potential for some ice. But as you'll see on the GFS here for the Texas Panhandle across portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and northern Arkansas. But, of course, we're still about a week away here, and but we're still going to have to watch the system carefully. But, uh, again, this is just pure land of voodoo. We'll just call it for now here. But, of course, for now, we just want to show up to some cold rain showers as we head into next Friday. So, But, again, we're going to watch the system really carefully as we head into uh, late next week because this one to show, like I said, maybe potential of maybe, it's a, maybe an ice event across portions of the uh, Arklatex region and even across portions of southern Missouri and Kansas. All right, we have a look at the uh, GFS here for Saturday afternoon of next weekend. This is December 8th. I just want to show this uh, uh, system moving up towards the mid-state then for any more unsettled weather uh, that day. And we're talking temperatures still staying especially mostly above freezing here for, uh, for the most part across the mid-state as we head into next Saturday. Just want to show temperatures mainly staying in the 40s, but some spots could stay in, or actually may not get out of the upper 30s. We'll mid to upper 30s, especially if it lives just to the north and west of Nashville. If we look at the precipitation type values here, and yes, yeah, pretty much just, just want to show some ice and snow staying up towards the north, up to the north and west of where we are uh, around Middle Tennessee. But for us here, just at least as of right now for next Saturday, just want to show just some cold rain showers. So, uh, but again, for now, we're just going to call it the pure land of voodoo. But if we look at the uh, OC run here, this is for uh, early Sunday morning. Well, actually, this is for Saturday evening at the 8th here into the morning of the 9th. If we look at the uh, temperatures here, I just want to show temperatures. Getting, as this, it looks like the front's going to get a little bit closer here to the mid-state as we head into the morning of the 9th. But if we look at the uh, temperatures here, we're talking temperatures dropping 
uh, from the 30s here, especially in that freezing mark here across portions of northern uh, and western Kentucky, across portions of Missouri and Arkansas. But for us here, still some cold rain showers here for the most part. But again, this is something we're going to have to watch really carefully because, again, some of these rain showers could mix it with some wintry, wintry precipitation as we head into next weekend. So, again, just please check back with me here 24-7 for more additional changes to uh, uh, next weekend's uh, forecasts. But uh, here's actually the 6C uh, model run here. This is actually early Sunday morning of uh, the ninth year. Again, I just want to show this uh, system uh, continuing here for the mid-state uh, that morning. If we look at the uh, temperatures here, I just want to show temperatures starting to drop here pretty quick here. We're talking dropping uh, temperatures in the 30s from the 40s uh, from Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky. If we look at the uh, precipitation top values, once again, just want to show this uh, band of snow uh, coming towards uh, western middle Tennessee with uh, with along, along with some cold rain showers east of I-65. So again, this is something we're going to have to watch really carefully. So again, just please be prepared that there could be a potential for some wintry weather for portions of our viewing area here as we head into uh, next uh, Sunday. But again, we're still way off here to tell you because, you know, we're still about, you know, a week a weekend away and this could change as we get closer. If we look at the accumulation forecast here and look at this, look at the bullseye right there across portions of Kentucky. Uh, Missouri and Illinois, we're talking, we're, look at this, we're talking 10 to even 15 inches of snow. That's what it shows you on the GFS here for Sunday morning of uh, next uh, weekend. But as you can see here uh, on the accumulation uh, map, I just want to show maybe some minor accumulations, especially over just to the north and western corner of the mid-state. We're talking maybe like one to two inches here from Hopkinsville to Dover and down towards uh, Big Sandy and northern Benton County. We're also, we're talking maybe two to four inches here across portions of uh, Todd, Christian, and Trick counties in Kentucky. And most of everybody else here can see maybe a, maybe a little bit of a dusting here early Sunday morning. But if we look at the uh, other run here, this is the 12C part. Yes, this one I'll show the, show the winter precipitation continuing here for the mid-state. But look at those temperatures, though. It looks like temperature, temperatures are going to start dropping into the uh, uh, down below freezing. We're talking temperatures dropping to the upper 20s into the low 30s. But if we look at the uh, precipitation type values, yes, this one to show. Uh, do you see that rain turning into some of that uh, snow here for uh, next Sunday? So, again, this is something we're going to have to watch really carefully. It's a little something interesting we're going to be watching. And again, here's the accumulation totals here. And if we look at here, again, this is the 12C model around here. I just want to show maybe some minor accumulations here, especially if you live just to the uh, west and northwest of Nashville. just want to show here on the 12C run, maybe like maybe one like potential of one to two inches of snow across portions of, uh, we'll say, from White House to West Nashville, Springfield, Greenbrier, Ashland City, Clarksville, Dixon, Centerville, and maybe about a dusting, maybe a, like a dusting to a half inch here if you live just to the south and east of Nashville. Again, that's what it, that's what it shows for, for now. And if we look at the 18Z uh, run here, this is for Sunday afternoon of the ninth here. I just want to show still some winter precipitation continuing for the mid-state. just want to show temperatures, uh, you know, starting to go down into the mid-30s here across the mid-state. So if the temperatures stay above freezing, it means the snow could melt away pretty quickly. But, of course, like I said, we're still about a weekend off away. So... Remember, remember, this could change as we get closer, but I just want to show maybe some leftover snow showers as we head into, uh, you know, the afternoon of Sunday the 9th. If we look at the accumulation totals again, yes, pretty much almost shows the, shows the same thing. We're talking maybe about one to two inches of snow, uh, especially over here across Middle Tennessee and Southern Kentucky, except if you, live, if you live just to the northwest of Nashville, where there could be like maybe, like maybe two to four inches uh, as we head into the day on Sunday. So again, next Sunday, this is something we're going to have to watch really carefully here. But like I said, you know, this is right now we're just going to call the pure land of voodoo because this may change as we get closer. All right, and pretty much, it looks like pretty much the snow showers are moving, out, moving out of Middle Tennessee as we head into uh, Monday of, of, uh, of December 10th. So it looks like we'll be, we'll be mostly dry for the most part as we head into that day as that system X is off towards the east coast. And if we look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, that looks like we'll see temperatures still staying in the, in the 30s as we head into uh, uh, Monday, the 10th of December. So, uh, yeah, this, like I said, winter is pretty much almost here. So please be prepared for this uh, cold weather. All right, as we look at the uh, Pure Land of Voodoo Country models here, this is for uh, Wednesday, December 12th. Uh, looks like almost the entire country looks to be looking pretty dry here, except there'll be a system trying to develop here across the West Coast region. If we look at the uh, high temperatures uh, down below, that look at this. We're talking temperatures. We're talking 20s and 30s for highs. As we hit this again, this is for high temperatures here. This is the OZ run uh, run here for Wednesday, December 12th. So it's going to feel pretty cold here across the midday, but don't expect any winter precipitation for the most part. Just want to show this winter precipitation staying off towards the far West Coast region, at least as of right now. 
But as we head into uh, Thursday, December uh, 13th, still Middle Tennessee's weather should be looking pretty dry for now. Still that same system we'll be seeing off towards the West Coast region. And uh, temperatures will still stay pretty cold here. We're still talking highs only in the 30s uh, for the midday as we head into uh, Thursday the 13th. If we look at the uh, precipitation type values again, just want to show maybe some rain showers across portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Texas, and maybe some snow on the backside of that system across portions of Colorado and New Mexico. So, uh, but again, this is just two weeks away. So this is pure land of voodoo, and that may change as we get closer. All right, here's the uh, 12C run here. This is actually a uh, Thursday morning of the uh, 13th. We're talking maybe some uh, rain trying to develop here across portions of the Arklatex region and even across portions of Kansas and Missouri up towards Iowa. If we look at the uh, temperatures here, we're talking uh, still some warm temperatures here down towards Oklahoma and Texas, only in the 50s and 60s here, but still talking about some cold weather across almost the entire country. But I just want to show, again, for the most part, just some rain showers here across portions of the Central Plains here and even some snow here across portions of the Pacifica Northwest region as well. So... But again, this is just pure land of voodoo. So remember, this could change as we get closer. All right, then as we head into uh, Saturday, December 15th, I just want to show this uh, system moving over towards the mid-state, uh, bringing some, maybe some rain in the forecast for now. As temperatures start to warm back up just a bit here, we're talking temperatures only in the upper 40s into the low 50s, at least what it shows on the GFS for high temperatures for uh, Saturday, December 15th. Again, for the most part, just some rain showers. So don't expect any wintry weather in the you know in that forecast for now. But again, pure land of voodoo. All right, and as we hand into uh, Sunday, December 16th, just want to show that system moving, to, moving down towards the south and east of where we are. Just want to show maybe a few leftover showers and also with a, with a new system trying to develop across the Pacific uh, Northwestern United States region for that day. If we look at the uh, temperatures here, we're talking temperatures dropping down into the upper 30s and low 40s here for the midday, but I don't expect any wintry weather for the most part. Just a few leftover showers here for the Middle Tennessee area as we head into Sunday, December 16th. All right, as we end the forecast uh, for uh, Monday, December 17th, I just want to show the system moving up, uh, moving up towards, over towards the East Coast region, and still that same system wants to develop here. This is the new system here, and wants to develop, develop across the Pacific uh, Northwest United States region. And if we look at the uh, high temperatures for us here, it looks like we'll see temperatures still staying pretty chilly. We're talking highs only in the 40s uh, for the most part as we head into Monday, December 17th here. But again, this is just pure land of voodoo for the most part. So, uh, so it looks like as we head into the uh, middle of the week of December, it doesn't show like a whole lot of, uh, you know, of rain or snow in the forecast. So, but remember, like I said, we're just two weeks away and, you know, that may change as we get closer. So just please note that. All right. Well, that's it for the uh, forecast video update here. Especially, I'm, and again, I'm really sorry, you know, that this is uh, pretty late because again, I have, uh, you know, plans, uh, you know, earlier this evening uh, during the eight o'clock hour. So, uh, but uh, it's a good thing I'm here, you know, as of as of uh, this uh, late Friday night here, this eleven o'clock hour. So again, I really apologize for that. It's getting late, but uh, but just want to let you know that again, like I said, I had plans uh, earlier uh, during the eight o'clock hour this evening. But again, that's it for the forecast video update uh, for the most part on this uh, Friday evening. Now, if there's any severe weather warnings going on across portions of Middle Tennessee, and I may be live on Facebook tomorrow, but uh, but again, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll we'll see if there's any severe warnings. I'll definitely go live on Facebook. But uh, again, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But for the most part, I'll be back here first thing early Monday morning for the next uh, forecast video update. Uh, somewhere between about eight or eight thirty or so. But I'll continue, as always, here by posting more notes or updates on my blog and Facebook pages uh, 24-7. But uh, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Have a, a great weekend, and please stay dry out there. And, uh, of course, enjoy the beautiful uh, weather we'll be seeing this weekend before we see cold weather returning for next week. And also, God bless.